Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a electricity effect in Adobe Premiere Element 20. Ooh, remember, don't try this without first watching the whole video clip. If you are new to the channel, my name is Ka. I love to make review videos on gadgets that I get for entertainment and cooking. When I cook something that I think it tastes good, I'm going to make a tutorial out of it. And when I learn something new in related to health and video production, I'm also going to make a review and tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you hit that button down below. Now, without further talking, I'm going to show you how to make this explosive electricity effect. Let's go to the screen. So here we are back to the Adobe Premiere Element 2020. We are in the expert mode. Now I've loaded all the files on the project already. And first we have those side effects. I go to this VDVO website to download free uh, audio. And also Pixabay where I download this explosion short clip. There's a um, couple of those you can choose from. Now these um, videos you have to pay attention to um, if it if it is free to use or if you need um, attributions. Now this one is free to use. You don't need attribution, so um, you can download it and incorporate it into your videos. So I loaded everything in the area, and I go to effect and look for lightning. Okay, and drag it to the clip. Now, now you have a lot of parameter for this lightning effect. Um, and I'm not gonna go over every single one of them. Most of them do with the branches and the thickness and everything. Now, I don't need the branches for this lightning. Okay, it's supposed to be like almost like a natural lightning effect. So I decrease all the branching so it's only one line. Okay, one electricity line. Um, and then the, you can also adjust different branch thickness and width, amplitude. You can play with all these different param parameters. So I, I increase the thickness a little bit so that it's easier for me to see. Now here I am going to um, move, okay, the ending of the lightning effect, okay, with that little circle at the end. And I open up a time track. Okay, on the effect, there's the uh, little clock symbol. You can click on and then you can drag it along, uh, and then you can adjust your um, point along with the change in time. Okay, you can toggle the effect basically. So, as I move along the timeline, I'm trying to spot if. Um, my hand are moving or not if my hand is moving I'm going to drag that little circle uh, of the two ending okay so you can see there is a track of movement uh, showing on the screen it may not be as clear but uh, basically you can follow the, um, the movement of the, the electric wire and then you drag that circle and then it's kind of like walking almost like you're drawing a pathway if you're familiar with um, PowerPoint animations it's a very similar concept basically a dragging its animated pathway okay so I'm um, continuing this process so notice the little dot there on the um, left hand side uh, right hand side there is showing you each timeline point where there is a transition in the movement so I'm continuing to um, decrease the the distance between the two endings until it hits uh, touch each other. Now, um, so I, this is for demonstration purposes. It's not for any real movie. So I, it's a little bit sloppy, but I, I didn't really touch it uh, precisely. But you get the idea where you can um, adjust the ending of the lightning. Um, effect and then you produce a pathway where it can walk over time. All right, so that part is done, and I'm gonna take a look. 
of that. But my computer is a little bit lag, okay, so uh, to process these effects in real time. But you can see how it just goes together. So it's a very short clip there. Now the longer the, of course, the longer the effect time, it takes more time to process or drag the uh, animated pathway. Now here I'm going to add this um, explosion effect, okay, the clip that I download from Pixabay. All right, and first I would need to take out the backgrounds, okay. Now I go to effect again and search for key, okay. Um, this different key, I usually just use uh, this chroma key functions and drag this chroma key. Now it's kind of smart, it, it will detect the uniform colored and then um, it will automatically take it out, okay. Now, but it's not perfect, you can see the black um, you know border along the flame okay that we need to do some editing okay go to editing of the chroma key and then you can drag adjust the blending effect or the similarity there okay so you really just have to drag it along the uh, adjustment line just to see to a point that you think that's pretty much blended in it's not as obvious um, then then you can you know stop that adjustment all right so after that um, black background is taken out the next thing of course is to adjust um, the timeline okay basically adjusting the speed and um, everything so that it match m more precisely to my actions so, so these are kind of variable depending on your um, video clip so I, I'm kind of going fast forward um, you get an idea again so I usually do my sound effect at the end after uh, the the motions are lined up here I am um, adjusting my um, electricity effect okay on um, that lightning or electricity between the two wire now finally I'm adding the explosion sound now, I didn't uh, show you the download but basically I went to the same uh, video website and download this explosion website and try to match the sound along with that explosive effect so okay so here I fast forward a lot I don't want to waste your time watching I doing adjustment but I usually again do a final checkup and see if everything looks lined up um, now you see there's a still a slight uh, disalignment between my reactions to the flame um, I'm not gonna show you how I just basically I just close the gap between the two sound effect and finally and you can go save your project and export the video clip if you learned something new from today's tutorial, please give me a like and thumbs up and leave comments down below. It really makes a difference to my channel. Until then, I'm going to see you next Friday. Bye.